Alright, so right now it might seem like nothing has changed and everything's still scattered around but actually I have categorized them with skincare, mix of skincare. These are this stuff, right? So these are the skincare, anything body, facial, um, treatments, anything like that, mask is in here. And at the back, I combined all my lashes in one tiny box. I know I still have in another like compartment that I have in another room, but those are organized and I didn't want to bring them out. So I'm sticking with this one. And here are eye products, um, eyeshadows and stuff. And here, this row right here are all lipstick, liquid lipstick, anything related to lips is this in this row and the second row are eyeliners or mascara that goes there and here I have two bags I do tend to keep the ones that are um, I always use and I because I always buy extras so I put them in here and my YSL cosmetics I usually put them in a bag just because I usually use them when I go out somewhere and grabbing this one big bag is easier than to just always get them from the drawers and over here are foundation, blushes, highlighters, anything like that and I've already sorted out all of the makeup bags right there so there is this um, basket right here that I didn't include in the Piles. That's because I have some products there that I'm actually thinking to give to friends and family for Christmas and they're still very nice and you know unopened of course and so I put them all in there. lip kits and here are BLK and here are Vice Cosmetics and these are color pops like I said and I'm still not done organizing all of these stuff but I'm gonna get there and these are color pops I'll try to put them relatable to each other as much as I could but if I can't then like that I feel like I should have like a drawer for this one, for this open one, and keep the one in the box inside the drawers. Um, so why sell? I do have another one, but I always use it a lot, so I do tend to keep them in the box in my makeup bag. So anything that I use a lot. So like this too. These are very luxury um, makeup brand. Why sell and. Um, Giorgio Romani, so I would try to put them on the side for now and see if I can get them to a place that I want to get them. So these are just Kylie lip kits that I am, oh Kylie Cosmetic that I'm trying to put aside and see if I have enough space. These are all Kylie's. I don't think I have any more. I'll have one more here. So these are all my Kylie's and those will be okay. This is ColourPop. Alright, so Smash so Smashbox, I only have one lip kit from them. Well, that's not really a lip kit, that's a lip palette I have from them, so I'll put it all the way at the back there. 
I don't know. Um, I already swatched this one, so... And I don't like it, but at the same time, I feel like people are going to be mad if I put this on a giveaway. I do have a lot of stuff that I just swatched and not use anymore and probably either throw away or give it to someone that I know because um, if friends and family, they usually don't care if I swatch it one time and then they will happily take it from me. But sometimes I feel like if they don't want it, I will either want to put it in a, um, a giveaway, giveaway box. But I feel like a lot of people don't like that if it's already been touched. So do let me know down in the comment section below if you don't mind taking, you know, like one swatched product. You know, I didn't, I didn't go in, like I'll show you guys what it looks like. It was just one swatch that I, I did because I wanted to show people what it looks like. So it's still pretty good as you can see. It's not bad and I just feel bad throwing it away or it's going to waste. Do let me know in the comment, okay? And I'll try to put that in the... Uh, maybe I'll do some kind of like one swatch giveaway box. So far, this is what it looks like. And I do need to get that divider where I kind of put my lipstick all in for these loose liquid lipstick and other stuff. I think that would be very helpful. Um...